<coughs> Mr. Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters, good afternoon. <coughs> My topic today is key to motivate. We all ponder time and again how to motivate people, including our teammates, employees, our family, our customers, and all other people, how to make them happy and how to keep them motivated. Some time back, I was deliberating with some of my colleagues on this topic, how to, how to motivate our teammate, teammates and how to motivate our employees. And some interesting ideas came, came into picture. Somebody said we should go out to eat lunch together more often, so, so to motivate team. And somebody said we should order more often pizzas and eat pizza together to motivate our team. And some thought uh, we should give out rewards and recognitions more often so as to motivate. And some thought better compensation and better benefits and better salary are key, key to motivate, motivate the people. Now, <clears throat> I was uh, sort of flabbergasted by this uh, discussion. Now, let me change the gear and go to a totally different uh, topic. A couple of years back, I was buying uh, presents for my then six years old son for Christmas. And that Christmas, I really wanted him, really wanted him to be happy. And <clears throat> I tried to buy a lot of presents for him, which I thought were great. I bought him a bicycle. I bought him a mm, football, basketball, soccer ball, a lot of board games, intelligent games, and Jenga, and all, all kind of toys what I thought were great. That time he was really into Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I think many of you know Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Those are, for, for people who don't know, those are Japanese uh, trading card games. And he really wanted to have a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh card for his uh, his Christmas present. And I thought that was total waste of money because that co card, in my opinion, worth about fifty cent, and that cost about eighteen dollars just a pack of card. But anyway, I bought a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh card also for Christmas and put it under the tree. So of course, as every other kid, he sneaked in the Christmas morning. He sneaked down. Uh, to the Christ Christmas tree and look at all these presents and then he was very happy while wow, I got all these presents and then he, he got his Yu-Gi-Oh card and went to his room and played with that Yu-Gi-Oh card for next three three four days and slept with it and so on right <coughs> so if I had not bought that piece of pack of Yu-Gi-Oh card then he would have been really sad and his Christmas would have been devastated because all other great presents were the presents I wanted to give him. And the Yu-Gi-Oh card was the present he wanted to have. So the present what he wanted to have made him more happy than what presents I wanted to have him. So let's change the gear again and go back to employee motivation topic again. So what I think is to make people happy, you need to give people or at least try to give people what they need, not what you want to give. For example, in, if you, in your team, some person has a genuine salary concern or salary issue. If you try to take him to lunch and pizza and give him some reward, it doesn't work. You really need to work on his salary issue, how we can solve it. Maybe you cannot solve it 100%, but at least if you give it, decent, honest try and try to solve problem, he will be more motivated and more happy. People's needs are not constant. So needs are changing people to people and time to time. For example, for a lot of people who work here, who are in some sort of visa situation, green card is a big need. But once that need is satisfied, the need is not there anymore. So once person gets the green card, 
He doesn't need green card again, right? So the need changes, and the other need takes place in, in his priority list. And you, so to motivate people, you need to constantly try to understand what people's needs are, and at least try to meet those needs, those needs. And the needs are changing, and you, you need to keep on trying. And you might not be 100% success, but at least if you are successful majority of time, the team would be motivated. And same thing you can apply at, to the customers also. For customers, customers would not be happy by giving them what you think they need. They would be more happy by getting what they need. So in conclusion, I think for motivating people <clears throat> and keeping them happy, you need to understand people's need and try to honestly fulfill, try to honestly fulfill them and um, try to meet the changing need. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, thank you.